Hi, this is Dr. Vidya, Dermatologist, Sagar Hospitals, Bangalore. So today I am going to talk to you about the fungal infections. This is a very, very common condition. Lot of people just ignore it thinking that you just wash it off, it goes away. I can try a bland cream, it will go away. Or they just go to a general practitioner and maybe use creams which are having steroids in them, which is the most wrong thing I would say. So fungal infection will definitely respond when you apply a uh, antifungal with a steroid cream because the steroid will reduce the inflammation. You will feel comfortable but then after some time there is a flare. So this goes on and on and then you develop resistance to the fungal infections. You are also spreading it to everybody in the family. Especially when you are putting all the clothes in the washing machine, fungal infection spreads from person to person. So there's different kind of fungal infections. Depending on the area of involvement, you have tinea capitis in the head. You have tinea corporis all over the body, you have tinea cruris, cruris in the joints, you have tinea anguinum that is in the nails, tinea pedis. So there's dip, different areas and different names are given. So it is not that one fungal infection works for all. There are different fungus, fungi which is involved here which responds to different kind of antifungal treatment. So it is difficult for you to decide what fungal infection uh, cream or what uh, fungal cream you have to use. When you consult a doctor, the doctor gives you the cream. As soon as you start applying it, maybe 10 days, 15 days, you will have relief completely. So the patient is very happy, they discontinue. That is where the treatment fails because there are different layers of the skin. So you would have just treated it in the superficial layers, there are deeper layers still remaining. When we say apply it for at least a minimum of 6 weeks, it is a must that you apply it for 6 weeks so that it completely goes and you are not spreading it to the others too. So when we give you antifungal creams, we say apply it till the skin is completely normal without any patches left. So that is when maybe you have treated it completely. Fungal infections are very common when you are very obese. So that is why we insist on exercise. It is common when you are wearing wet clothes. Lot of people who are in a hurry, especially undergarments, if you are wearing very moist ones, that increases the fungal infections. The fungus grows in moisture. So that is why we say wash your clothes. Iron your clothes or at least dry it in the sun so that the fungus does not increase. When you sweat a lot, again the moisture increases. Take a bath the second time in the day so that the fungus does not spread. If you do not have the patience to take a bath, at least put water and wash off the areas where you sweat a lot. That is the underarms and the groin. Apply the cream regularly. As soon as you find relief, that doesn't mean that you have to shift the cream to once a day or twice a day. For this, we have come out with creams which are bigger tubes. When we say Excel, it's a bigger tube, not that I want to market it because it's a bigger tube or it's more expensive, so that you go and apply the whole tube for about 6 weeks. When I give you a small tube, once it is over and you're better, you discontinue. That is why we insist on buying bigger tubes and applying it for 6 weeks. For also, again for patient compliance, we have come out with creams which can be applied just once a day. Use that if you do not have the patience to apply it twice a day. So fungal infections now in summer is very common because of the sweating. Though you are wearing cotton clothes, you change your clothes, have bath but you are sweating throughout the day. So that is why I insist on applying the creams and taking a shower in the evening. This fungal infection is not necessarily only in summer. It can go into the rainy season also. Suppose your shoes is, are uh, moist, your footwear is wet. Again the fungal infection happens between the toes. We say candidiasis or maybe the fungal infections in the foot like petinia pedis. These things increase. So a lot of people call that as rain source actually where you get it between the toes. Wipe, keep it dry, apply a talcum powder or uh, apply an antifungal powder and apply a cream. If you are feeling very sticky with the cream in the daytime, use an antifungal powder in the mornings and use a cream in the evening. So this fungal infection can happen in all seasons. I just told you about rainy season and summer. In winter also if you are wearing very warm clothes and sitting inside the house, you are sweating too much again and all this can happen. Most common among all the fungal infections is the tinea cruris that is in the joint areas. And it has almost become like a pandemic because a lot of people use over-the-counter medicines. If you go to a pharmacist in the counter and says, I have fungus, he will give you a combination of a steroid cream, it will disappear. You are advising it to somebody else. Please don't do that. So this worsens and then there you develop resistance. None of the antifungal creams will work for you. So please consult your doctor when you have just small one patch. Don't self-treat it. Don't let it multiply. Don't give it to your family members. Treat it, especially when you have fungal infections in the scalp, that is in the hair, the infection gets into the root of the hair. So you have to take treatment for a longer time. We have topical antifungals, we have oral antifungals, we have even body washes which contain antifungals. 
please consult your doctor and take treatment as early as possible when you have fungal infections thank you